Sarah Plain and Tall, page 34 through 37. Winter is cold here, said Caleb, and Sarah and I laughed. Winter is cold everywhere, I said. We go to school in the winter, said Caleb. Sums and writing and books, he sang. I'm good at sums and writing, said Sarah. I love books. How do you get to school? Papa drives us in the wagon, or we walk the three miles when there is not too much snow. Sarah sat up. Do you have lots of snow? Lots and lots and lots of snow, chanted Caleb, rolling around in the grass. Sometimes we have to dig our way out to feed the animals. In Maine, the barns are attached to the houses sometimes, said Sarah. Caleb grinned. So you could have a cow to Sunday supper? Sarah and I laughed. When there are bad storms, Papa ties a rope from the house to the barn so no one will get lost, said Caleb. I frowned. I loved winter. There is ice on the windows in winter mornings, I told Sarah. We can, we can draw sparkling pictures, and we can see our breath in the air. Papa builds a warm fire, and we bake hot biscuits and put on hundreds of sweaters. And if the snow is too high, we stay home from school and make snow people. Sarah lay back in the tall grasses again, her face nearly hidden. And is there wind, she asked. Do you like wind? asked Caleb. There is wind by the sea, said Sarah. There is wind here, said Caleb happily. It blows the snow and brings tumbleweeds and makes the sheep run. Wind and wind and wind. Caleb stood up and ran like the wind, and the sheep ran after him. Sarah and I watched him jump over rocks and gullies and the sheep behind him, stiff-legged and fast. He circled the field the sun making the top of his hair golden. He collapsed next to Sarah, and the lambs pushed their wet noses into us. Hello, Lou, said Sarah, smiling. Hello, Maddie. The sun rose higher, and Papa stopped to take off his hat and wipe his face with his sleeve. I'm hot, said Sarah. I can't wait for winter wind. Let's swim. Swim where, I asked her. I can't swim, said Caleb. Can't swim, exclaimed Sarah. I'll teach you in the cow pond. As for cows, I cried. But Sarah had grabbed our hands and we were running through the fields, ducking under the fence to the far pond. Shoo, cows, said Sarah as the cows looked up startled. She took off her dress and waded into the water in her petticoat. She dived suddenly and disappeared for a moment as Caleb and I watched. She came up, laughing, her hair streaming free. Water beads sat on her shoulders. She tried to teach us how to float. I sank like a bucket filled with water and came up sputtering. But Caleb lay on his back and learned how to blow streams of water high in the air like a whale. The cows stood on the banks of the pond and stared and stopped their chewing. Water bugs circled us. Is this like the sea? asked Caleb. Sarah treaded water. The sea is salt, said Sarah. It stretches out as far as you can see. It gleams like the sun on glass, and there are waves. Like this? asked Caleb as he pushed a wave at Sarah, making her cough and laugh. Yes, she said, like that. I held my breath and floated at last, looking up into the sky, afraid to speak. Crows flew over three in a row, and I could hear, hear the kill deer in the field. We climbed the bank and dried ourselves and lay in the grass again. The cows watched, their eyes sad in their dinner plate faces, and I slept, dreaming a perfect dream. The fields had turned to a sea that gleamed like sun on glass, and Sarah was happy. <laughs>